Artificial Intelligence Mankind's long-standing pursuit to harness the power of the human mind. We all know some form of AI in our lives, whether it be a robot that plays chess or a vacuum with a mind of its own, but did you know that it's now entered into the realm of 3D animation? So just how good are our computer overlords at giving life to our models? Is this the end of the 3D animator as we... Okay, could use some work. Hey guys, what's up? So today I thought I'd take a look at some AI-driven animation programs that have entered into the 3D art space in recent years. For anyone not entirely familiar, these programs take regular video footage of movement, automatically translate the movement into 3D animation data, and then apply it to a model for you. In this video, I'm gonna put four AI-powered 3D animation programs to the test, Plask, Radical, Deep Motion, and Pixcap. And we'll see if they really do what they're designed to do. All of these programs are browser-based, so they do not require installation and all have a free option. Links to all the programs will be below. Let's jump in. So to put these programs through their paces, I needed some motion capture footage that I could import into all of them. So I got suited up. Whoops, forgot a shoe. Ah, that's better, and limber it up so I could capture a bunch of different movements that will challenge the program. These movements I've categorized into the following four levels. Level 1, basic, we'll just do one move here, speaking motions with only the upper body showing. This will take the feet out of the equation, which are generally harder to animate due to them sliding around, so it should be easier. This actually proves to be the exact opposite for one of them though. Level 2, intermediate, the feet are now in play, but we won't move them too much here. We'll want to focus on whether or not they still slide around, we'll do two moves here, changing poses while standing, and speaking with the whole body showing. Level 3, advanced, here we will introduce some foot movement and dynamic arm movements. Again, focusing on foot sliding, we'll do two moves here as well, walking with a turnaround, and dancing if you could call it that. And finally, level four, super advanced? I don't know. Here we will have smaller, more subtle movements in the feet, depth tracking on the hands as they get closer to the camera, and root tracking with respect to the feet and core of the body. We'll do three moves here. Small sort of warm-up jumps that you might do before a race, squatting from a front-facing angle, and sitting from a 45-degree angle. So enough of me jabbering on, let's take a look. So the first program we'll take a look at is Plask. So level one basic, speaking with just the upper body, not bad at all, picks up all of the movements with minimal foot sliding. Level two, intermediate, changing poses while standing. Again, not bad at all, picking up all the moves and the feet aren't moving too much. Now on to speaking with the full body. Very good again, all moves reflected without too much movement in the feet. Great tracking on the subtle head movements as well. Now level three, advanced, walking with a turnaround. Model looks like it's sliding around a bit, almost like he's on ice, but not bad yet again. Dancing, very nice, no major complaints here, picking up the good dynamic movements of the hand. And finally level four, super advanced. Small warm up jumps, very nice, picking up the subtle movements of the feet. Squatting from a front angle, good depth tracking on the hands as they near the camera. And lastly, sitting, good sense of weight on the push off with minimal foot slide. The character also stays well planted to the seat Overall, Plask, very good movement tracking, but some issues with the feet shifting around. Next, we'll look at Radical Solutions. Level one, basic, speaking upper body. Not the best. This one had a little bit of trouble with the missing feet, as you can see. Perhaps I missed an option or setting. Level two, intermediate, changing poses. Better for sure, picking up all the moves. However, this one feels like it's floating a little bit more. The feet seem to be moving ever so slightly throughout the animation. Speaking with the full body, all moves are reflected. However, still suffering a bit from a sort of floating feeling. Feet look like they are almost a couple inches off the ground. Now level three, advanced, walking with a turnaround. Movements are a little on the fluid side, but not bad. Hands and head tracked well with a good angle on the body. Dancing, better this time, nice movement on the hands and head, and the feet are a little bit less floaty. Nice reflection of the subtle bounce on the body as well. 
and level four, super advanced, small warm-up jumps, very nice, picking up the subtle movements of the feet, squatting from a front angle, depth tracking on the hands as they near the camera is not very good, the feet do move quite a bit here as well, and lastly, sitting, looking not too bad yet again, great angle on the legs, really looks like the model is sitting on a chair, and on the push-off has a nice sense of weight. Overall, Radical, not bad, but a little bit floaty in the feet. Next up is Deep Motion, level one, basic speaking upper body. Very good, you can see the feet are firmly planted and don't slide at all. Head looks tilted back a bit, but could be the camera angle. Level two, intermediate, changing poses, very good again. The foot locking is top notch here. There is a weird lean in the body here though. The knees could be bent a little bit better in my opinion. Speaking, full body, very good. Feet not moving an inch with good movements on the hands and head. The foot locking to the ground in deep motion was definitely the best out of the four. Now level three, advanced, walking with a turnaround, great on the feet, but there is a weird lean again on the body. Could possibly be the camera angle. Dancing, very good, good foot planting, and the dynamic hand movements are picked up. Didn't pick up on the subtle bounce on the body that much though, like Radical did. And level four, super advanced, small warm-up jumps, not the best. The foot locking almost working against us here. Squatting from the front angle, depth tracking on the hands is pretty good, but the legs do have a little bit of a weird bend in them. And lastly, sitting, looking pretty good, feet are on point yet again, and a decent sense of weight on the push-off. The bend on the knees could be a little bit better though. Overall deep motion, very good, excellent foot locking, although could use some cleanup on the angles of the body. And lastly, picks cap. Level one, basic, speaking upper body. Very good, feet are reasonably planted and the head and hand tracking are decent. Looks a bit like he's leaning forward though. Level two, intermediate, changing poses. Very good again, minimal foot slide, but like deep motion, weird lean in the body here at the end. This is likely due to the downward camera angle I used when filming. Speaking full body, very good, feet barely moving with good tracking overall. The small downward camera angle again making the model look like it's leaning forward a bit. Now level three, advanced, walking with a turnaround, decent at the feet, but again a little bit of a weird lean on the body. May have to consider camera angle more with Pick's cap. Dancing looks good, this guy is feeling the groove. Seems to suffer a little less from the body lean, good tracking on the hands and feet. And level four, super advanced, small warm up jumps, not the best, the foot locking again working against us. Squatting from the front angle, depth tracking on the hands is good, but the knees do bend a little oddly. And lastly, sitting, looking half decent, but feet and body are a little bit floaty with the weight of the character missing a bit. Looks more like the model is leaning on a ledge than sitting. Overall, picks cap, decent for sure, good foot locking, but could be better on the body angles. And lastly, here are some side-by-side -side comparisons of each of the programs for some of the moves so you can get a better look at them. My initial knee-jerk feeling at first was that I liked deep motion the best due to the superior foot locking, but as I was making this video, I kind of felt like I surprisingly liked the only truly free option of the four, which is Plask. It does suffer from some foot sliding, but overall, I just felt like I liked the movements the best. They had the best sort of natural speed and weight to them. Again, all these programs are completely free to use and are browser-based, so you don't need to install anything. All the options, even the paid ones, generally have a monthly limit on the length of the clips you can upload for analysis. The free options usually start at around 30 seconds per month. Once you used your free 30 seconds up, you would need to wait until the following month before you could upload more more animations for analysis. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you learned a little bit about how AI can help make your games or animations a little better and easier. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped, and we'll see you in the next one.